we're heading to the hands. Every single day, your hands come into contact with all sorts of things, picking up a lot of bacteria along the way. But just how often do we wash our hands? Well, I'm going to find out using a special scientific tool called asking people. When was the last time you washed your hands? Uh, just before I left the house, which was probably about 20 minutes ago, maybe. Oh, really? OK. At school. When was the last time your dad washed his hands, do you think? I think it was never. You think he's never washed them? Oh, good morning. Oh, good morning. Good. Yeah. What time is it now? It's about... <laughs> it's late, late afternoon. So, maybe we don't wash our hands quite as often as we think we do. But why does it matter how clean our mitts are? Well, there are harmless bacteria on your hands, but your hands also play a crucial role in spreading illness. In fact, up to four out of every five illnesses are spread by our hands. Although you don't need to wash them all the time, washing your hands before you eat and after you go to the loo is very important, and I'm going to show you why. So, I'm gathering as many handprints as possible on a special jelly which will help to show what bacteria are on people's hands. That's well done. brilliant. Next, I want to take a second handprint after their hands have been washed in water to see if there's a change in the amount of bacteria. Finally, I want to see the difference soap makes. So I'm getting my volunteers to wash their hands with soap and water. OK, so you do the backs of your hands. Oh, you get your fit in between your fingers. This is an absolute masterclass in hand washing. What about a nice, clean high five? Now our samples head off to the lab, where they are put in an incubator set at exactly 37 degrees, which is the same temperature as your body. They will happily grow in this perfect bacteria-breeding environment for 48 hours. Keeping an eye on our batch is virologist Rhiannon Lowe. So, Rhiannon, what have we got here? OK, these are the plates that haven't been washed. So we've got normal skin flora that we've been growing up. So we've got lots of Staphylococcus species. We've got Streptococcus species. And that's kind of exactly what you would expect is from it, a regular hand. This is regular. normal hand flora. You can see the four fingers and you can see the thumb. Check out these furry fellas. Like to smell? Ooh, yeah. that, is, Ooh. Uh, that is a strong smell. So these are bacteria that you might find on your hands after not washing your hands after going to the toilet. Okay. So they will be faecal bacteria. Yep, that means poo. And these bacteria can cause food poisoning. So can we have a look at the next lot then? Yeah. A lot of people don't wash their thumb very well at all, so your thumb tends to have a lot more bacteria on them. And what, people just stick their... Yeah, you just wash it like that, and tap, literally their thumbs, thumbs are sticking are out like that. So there's still definite handprints here. It's clear that water alone doesn't do much. What about number three, then? Number three, let's have a take a look. Squeaky clean. Well, almost. It's just a few sporadic colonies. It just goes to show that using soap when you wash your hands is so much better. There are bacteria on your skin that are actually doing you good. So there's no need to keep your hands squeaky clean all the time. But washing your hands with soap and water, especially before you eat, is a great way of protecting you from getting sick. And remember, when you wash your hands, do it thoroughly. A good 20 seconds of washing with soap and warm water will keep your mitts clean. And don't forget your thumbs.